you gotta give people they flowers. Uh, why they can still smell it. Mark Nash, Michael Cross, Michael Cross the boss. My nigga. Michael Gross the boss. Now I'm back with another one. Hit that bell, hit that bell, hit that bell. Let everybody know what we're doing over here, man. Subscribe to the channel so everybody knows where I go live. And I'm back with another one. We have a shocking omission coming from Javante, Javante, Javante Tank Davis. He says, I wanted the rehydration clause. I asked for it. My team asked for it. And there's a lot of inconsistencies going on with this, okay? I'm going to break it down to you. But first, let's go out to Coach Calvin Ford and hear what he had to say when he was asked about the rehydration clause. Coach Calvin Ford is the head boxing trainer of Javante Tank Davis. Roll that footage for me. Let's go. Yesterday, uh, kind of wildfire, right on on social media and stuff. I've seen a lot of it's people boxing. talking about. Is is that maybe boxing? Is it I, people know, kind of forgetting that's been boxing. the history of boxing that's it, happened it, it, a lot. And in, in the words of Roger Mayweather, God rest his soul, they don't know shit about boxing. It's been happening. It's always been like that in boxing. You know what I'm saying that's how fights get made. You know? it, 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 and, and look, Coach Kevin Ford is not lying. It's always been like that in boxing, where the A side try to get as much as they can in their favor so they can have a leg up and winning the fight. Sometimes they do it out of fear. Sometimes they do it out of, out of unsure. Sometimes they just want to make sure that their opponent is in the worst possible position possible. True. You know, fights can't get made if people don't, uh, negotiate certain things and whatnot. If he ain't want to do it, he wouldn't sign. That, that was going <laughs> to be my next. That's true too. If he wouldn't, if if Ryan didn't want to do it, he wouldn't have signed it. That's true too. Question: Had had he maybe refused that or wanted maybe 10, 12 pounds, probably or fifteen not. pounds? Probably would the fight not. Happen? No, probably not. You know, uh, again, we campaigned at one thirty-five. He chose to move. Whoa, whoa. So if Ryan Garcia wasn't okay with the weight clause y'all would have not fought him wow it's crazy though right they wanted this fight at 136 knowing that knowing that ryan had moved up to 140 but when they fought mario barrios that fight was at 140. So you're not scared of Mario Barrios, but you're scared of, of Ryan Garcia? Mario Barrios had a regular championship. Brian ain't never had a regular belt. Mario Barrios was a bigger fighter. Ryan started at 135. So why, why are you scared of Mario Barrios? Why are, aren't you scared of Mario Barrios, who, is, who some would say is more proven than Ryan Garcia? You let Mario Barrios come in at 139 and a half at the under the, the 140 limit. That's what I'm trying to that's what I'm trying to figure out. And also, also, Mario Barrios did not have a rehydration limit. Facts. All you Tank fans can say, oh, Mike, you're a hater. Call me what you want to call me. But I got receipts, my nigga. Go out to the to boxing scene. Yes, sir. Javante Davis doesn't really matter. There's no weight limit for the Barrio fight. Here we go. Now, this is what Davis told boxing scene in a press conference. It doesn't really matter if he come in too heavy it's going to be more my advantage than his because he's going to be much slower he better top it off at you know whatever he feels good at why couldn't you give ryan garcia that same leeway are you scared of ryan garcia are you fearful of ryan garcia why wouldn't you give Ryan Garcia the same thing you gave a bigger man at 140? 
y'all must be really <laughs> y'all must be scared of Ryan. It because it some some gotta be true because it's not adding up. It is not adding up that you do it, that you don't do it for Mario Barrios, but you do do it for Ryan Garcia, a smaller fighter. Whoa. But let's go on to Tank and let's see why Tank wanted the weight. The I mean, why Tank wanted the rehydration clause. I'm sure you believe you could knock him out in any way. So with that said, why why the rehydration clause? Is it the art of war? You know, I can't why why I mean, that's what happened when you were eight side. Then it should have came in at 126. <laughs> Is that oh wow, you bragging? Uh, I should have made him come in at 126. Are you bragging? That's what you do when you're the A side. You try to get every little advantage in your favor so you can win the fight because you're scared of fighting the man at his natural weight. Back in the day, you know what I'm saying? As long as you made the weight, you, you can come in at whatever weight you want to. And I see some, I seen some dumbass nigga on Twitter talking about y'all mad at Javante when the IBF does the exact same thing. That's why they not fighting in the IBF. That's why fighters pick and choose whether they want to fight in the IBF, WBA, WBC, or uh, WBO because they don't want to deal with rehydration clauses. That's why you've seen Daniel Jacobs drop his belt against uh, Gennady. Fuck that belt. You do... You do not do this if you are confident in yourself. Deontay Wilder. Deontay Wilder. Somebody who regularly gets outweighed by 40, 30, 25, even 50 pounds has never, has never told his, his opponent that you need to have a rehydration limit. You only do that when you're unsure of yourself or you're fearful of the other man across the ring. Facts. That taking advantage of his anxiousness to get that, that money and that big fight, you know? No, I just... If you, if you, that'd be smart. You can't just be a fighter, bro. That's what... That's what they want you to do. They want you to just... Uh, take the fight at 150 and take the fight at 160 and this guy walking around at 170, 180. That don't make sense. Does that if you if you, you said they all right, got something to that nigga sounds scared to me? You gotta be a fighter, man. You can't just be a fighter. You gotta be smart. You gotta be. You gotta weight train a nigga, man. Please, bro. Look, man. Do what you want to. A side tactics. That's what boxing is. It's gonna be that way. It's gonna be that way. Floyd done did it. Canelo done did it. Now Javante is following those footsteps. Y'all get so mad at, at Anthony Joshua overseas for having a goddamn rematch clause in his contract. But these dudes over here in America, they known for rehydration limits. You can't make this shit up, man. Until next time, man, y'all know what to do. Hit that bell, hit that bell, hit that bell. So you know when I go live and I'm dropping that heat, until next time, peace. Just remember, this video has been edited by Michael on Sports. Please smash that thumbs up button, like, comment, and subscribe to the channel. Until next time, I'm out this thing. Out this thing.